hello everyone in this video we will see how to display the pop-up when we hover mouse on the icons which represent the locations of the custom asset so let me recap the in the last video what we have done before we proceed to the next to achieve it so in the last videos we have added the command button on click of this uh, command button on this app field service app there is a assets out uh, we call it customer assets on this entity or uh, on the main grid we have added this button and when we click this one it opens the dnlb load map html wave resource which loads the map here azure map and then inside that map we have added the legends and there we have added the few more controls like pitch controls different styles of the map zoom controls also there are assets uh, which we have configured with the latitude and longitude these assets we represent on the map with this small circle or bubble and using the bubble layer of the atlas map so till now we have achieved this one let me walk you through the code so this is the code uh, this function this uh, function it opens the tab uh, it opens the new tab in the browser window so this one is open and it loads this web resource and uh, below we are having the functions created for load map this is called this html when it is loaded here it will be called and from here we define the map properties and then we add the legend controls this function we have developed below so it will add this legend control which what we see here is in this video in this uh, map is here but this is the legend control then we have added the uh, then we have added the uh, uh, some controls example the pitch control the zoom controls then the map style controls we have added here when the map is getting ready and along with that in the last video we have added the add resource function which retrieves the customer asset and on this customer asset uh, with the condition like when this latitude longitude defined for that each customer assets we create the features and for that feature you can see from the atlas data feature we create and for that feature we will have the point with the longitude and latitude defined and we have the properties of that each point defined here and we using these properties we are defining by taking the value from the results what we gave from the assets okay and then we created another function show asset on map so it will be for each feature we try to create the bubble layer and add this on the data source and with the different properties like color green radius 10 and using these properties we define the bubble layer and then we'll add it so finally the map will load like this with the green bubble so now in this video what we are trying to achieve is when we hover on the map so like when we sometimes hover the mouse or when we move the mouse on that then we want to pop up the some details what it defines what are the some informations if you want to use that we can uh, try to achieve it so when you hover on this one it will display the pop-up and with uh, some informations on this one so the information which i'm going to show here on the pop-up is the the name of this one the asset name along with the latitude and longitude of this location and we are going to show some image also example this is representing some location with the image so for that one in this uh, of to for to load the image for this customer asset here i have already created one field so let me show you here i have created one field called image upload and in the solution i will show you under the customer asset uh, table and the column i have created new uh, upload image with the schema name this one so this is the type data type as image and we can allow we can add the image to this field uh, directly so that is why i have added the one of the image to the one of the one of the uh, customer asset record here so now when i will uh, hover on this location in the map then i should be seeing what image i have uploaded here so that we are going to achieve in this video so to achieve this uh, we need to modify this our javascript file so let's modify so first of all uh, we need to define the pop-up so let's create one variable pop-up here so where pop-up 
okay and this pop up we have to define the properties when the map is getting ready so after adding the resource i'm going to add here oh, pop up equals to new atlas dot pop up and here the, we can define the properties position we, by default we can uh, display at the zero zero and uh, the when the pop up will display here then it should display with uh, if you want to display a little bit away from this low point right like sometimes we want to display a little bit away from this point right in the top so we have to do minus on the on the y position so here we'll define the pixel offset offset and i'll take zero x x position we are not changing on the y position we are shifting 20 pixel upwards so like that uh, we can uh, define the pop-up here now once the pop-up is set uh, this is defined now we have to create the function which in that function we have to uh, we have to read the event because basically we are moving the mouse on the map here right and the, when the mouse is uh, hovered on this um, icon then we need to display the pop-up so for that we can use the mouse uh, move event so here i'm going to define it so map dot events dot add and that will be mouse move event and then the function to handle is mouse move handler this is the function name i'm going to define so this function we need to create here so below i'm going to create where and function and this function when it will the when the mouse will be moved so event will be passed and this event we have we have here so we have to develop this function so in this function what we will do first of all we will see if any pop-up was already created because when we move the mouse so if we move away from here then the pop-up which we which we created it has to be closed right because we don't want to display all the pop-up if we are moving to the mouse only we will display pop-up only when we have we are moved to the particular uh, particular icon right so for that we will close the if it, it, it we have any pop-up open so i will close this pop-up then we will check if the event contains the feature so in the feature is nothing but shapes in the event so let's take it so if a dot shapes okay and uh, a dot shapes dot length is greater than zero basically what we are checking is we are checking if the event contains the shapes why shapes how it will come to the shapes into this event is because uh, here in the previous uh, video sessions what we have done is we have created the feature here right features with a point so these features will be it will be added to the map and on the map uh, when we move it so the event this this will be present there so if you if the event is having these shapes present there then we can retrieve these properties from that shape so that is why uh, it is coming from there so here uh, e dot shapes and then shape dot until greater than zero then we need to retrieve the properties from that one and that property is coming from the data feature here right so from the data we'll have the property so let's take the properties value from here so where properties equals to e dot shapes first uh, whatever the first uh, e first shape is there right from that one we will take the data and properties okay it will give me the properties like uh, here uh, these properties we have defined here right this name long longitude latitude and as i mentioned uh, here we have to i think before we develop further this uh, function we need to add uh, we have to modify our fetch xml why because we need to retrieve this image also right the photo also this is what we have uploaded to retrieve this image the logical name of this one we need to pass into the our fetch xml uh, uh, selected attributes there right so i'm going to copy this one and modify this fetch xml to accommodate my new field and that is attribute name equals this one okay so we have uh, included that one so now in the image it is there now we have to read this image here so let's add that one so where image equals result dot entities 
for each and then we have this field so when we take the value from this entity so like from particular record this image then it will give me the uh, base 64 converted string of the image so we have to convert it back to the data image data so for that list it will be it will create one url and that url can be we can represent as an image here so let's create the image url and that will be equals to it will be uh, it will be data and then it is image type and we we will take the image as a jpg and uh, the it is base 64 so base 64 we will convert it and then the image the convert the string image what we get so this is the few lines i mean few text you can see we have we can include to get the image url so this will have the converted value into the image url so this url if you browse directly then it will display the image so that image url we have to pop up on the well, we have to show in the pop-up so now we have defined the properties along with latitude longitude name are there so here i we will add to the feature also so here i'm going to add image url and that is image url here okay so we have updated the feature properties here so now from our this one properties we will get the all the properties what we see here along with the name and all this so let's to create the one variable we call it as what content we want to display on the pop-up so where uh, pop-up content okay and we, by default i'll set as empty and here we'll define so the pop-up content otherwise we can okay let's take this one so pop-up content directly we can say so it will be the kind of uh, the html defined uh, as it will be html type uh, we can set the content because the pop-up what it will display here on the map it, it will be kind of html uh, small content of the html which we can have the different colors and the divs and all you can add it and you can make the board and the style those things you can apply on the pop-up there so for that purpose only uh, we have to set the uh, uh, properties in the html format so here i'm going to add the new tag div and uh, okay so inside the div tag uh, we have to uh, display the some information so first of all we are going to make the board uh, of the name value right so inside this board we will display the name so we have the properties dot and what is the value of the name of the property it is asset name so this is the name of the properties we will define here then we will break to the next below and then there we will display the latitude and longitude so let's add it latitude it will be properties dot it is asset latitude we can give a space and longitude it will be properties dot asset longitude okay along with and below i'm going to add the another bake and inside the bake we will display the image so basically first we'll display the properties name in asset name in the uh, bold in the bold text then we will have the below will have the latitude and longitude information of the asset and then below we are going to display the image so that image tag we have to use so image image and then source of the image is nothing but the url what we have created so it will be the properties dot image url and we can define width and height of the image how much you want to say currently i'm setting as 200 pixel for that one so and uh, height equals to 200 okay so it is defined now so now this pop-up content we have to set on the pop-up so let's uh, set that one so the pop-up variable what we have created pop-up dot set options we call it and here we have to dis uh, set it the options so here we have uh, content as a as a content as a uh, component where we have to set it, it is our pop-up uh, content right pop-up content then we will have the position where we want to display so positions we can get to because we have to display this pop-up 
uh, near to each location of this icon right so each location will have the coordinates uh, geo coordinates so that we can take it so example a dot shapes and from zero dot get coordinates okay and then we will have the pixel offset uh, we can set uh, 0 minus 20 okay once the pop-up is created now we have to open it so show the pop-up so pop-up dot open and then on the map uh, on the map we have to just add it so this is it so this much only we have to develop the function so let's check if it is working so i'm going to save this file and then upload it on the on the web resource so here on the web resource this is my web resource file i'm going to browse this my file this is the file save this i'm going to publish is published i will refresh this map again okay let's hover it and see if it is working yeah you can see the pop-up is coming now so if you hover to the particular this asset which is nothing but on this location which is nothing but i think this one so you can see the image is coming below right this is coming you can define the style on this pop-up example here on this div i can add some style example the um here style equals and here we can add the padding equal as a 10 pixel like basically uh, 10 pixel space between the text there and then uh, we can add the border like when the pop-up is coming here right so you can see there is a, it is a square box so if you want to add as a border radius 10 pixel not only that there's so many what were the styles you want to add on this pop-up you can add it so this is the few example i'm saying how to add some of their styles on this pop-up so you can add like that so uh, let me uh, save this file again and up update this again okay save this and publish I'm going to reload this. Okay, so you can see it is now looking a little bit good. So like this, you can display the pop-up. So before that, uh, let me show you uh, the event, like inside the event, what and all things we are having. So I'll just have the breakpoints there and in the in the tool, the developer tool, and I'll show you what and all we'll get. Okay, so we will go inside this function here and we'll see in the breakpoint what and all we get inside this event so I will refresh this again okay and here I if I'll come here you can see inside the e dot shapes if you go to console and e dot shapes so you can see uh, total these are the different shapes it is loaded and uh, for these shapes uh, if you take the first shape here so these are the different things so we'll have the we'll have the data under the data we'll have the different uh, the different informations we have the data and then inside that data we have the geo geometry thing right where we will have the uh, coordinates so if you see the coordinates here so these are the locations of the each point so this is what location i'm retrieving uh, from this function here from the shape i'll get this location and uh, for the from the data only we will have the other properties here this is called the properties and we are having you can see the name of the properties what we have defined uh, using this feature here so it is coming like that so this information you can you know you can access it from the data one and you can use it so i i hope uh, this video was useful to you and you 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 can use this power feature in the azure map and i and uh, thank you for watching for this video guys